Hi guys, so if you've been following me for a while, you will know that I'm a big fan of having more than one investment platform and I currently use Free Trade and Trading212, but there's a new app in town and I started using it. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about it, how it works and the features that it has to help you make your decisions on whether or not you want to use it. So the app we are talking about is Stake. You may have already heard of them, you may not have, but they essentially are an Australian investment platform and they are currently breaking into the UK to help UK investors reach the US market. Just to preface, this is not an ad, they're not telling me what to say or anything like that. I reached out to the stake team and offered to do a review for them and they kindly sent me some of their marketing materials and stuff like that that I could include in the video, which is why you saw the cool animation. So firstly, let's talk about the pros of the app. Similar to Free Trade and Trading 212, they are a zero commission platform, which means that you don't pay for every single trade that you do. However, here's what separates them from the two that are currently the big market leaders. So they focus solely on the US stock market. So they actually have access to 3,700 US stocks and ETFs. This by far outstrips the nearest competitor, which is Trading212, who have about a third of that. Now, the other great thing, if you are investing predominantly in the US stock market, is that they do not charge FX fees per trade. If you use platforms like Free Trade, they actually charge a foreign exchange fee on every single trade that you place. Whereas with Stake, they only charge you the FX fee of 0.5% when you top up your account and then when you withdraw the money. So essentially all the money that's held in your account is held in US dollars, which means you don't pay any FX fees for every single trade. So this could be really good if you are mostly investing in US stocks and want to save yourself a bit of money on the FX fees. So they used to have three different accounts, but they've actually just moved to only two, which is the basic account and then the stake black account. Now, one of the main features of the stake black account, which I think is super cool and definitely a step up on free trade and trading 212, which is that you actually get pro level data with that account. And although a part of that is company financials, which you would get in trading 212, which you've seen in some of my previous videos, they actually also have analyst ratings and analysis within the app. That's really cool because usually you have to go on separate websites and brokerages to get that kind of analyst data of what sort of top level analysts are saying in terms of whether the company is a buy, a hold, a sell, what they think and stuff like that. They also have a cool news section at the bottom, which to me is again really great because otherwise I usually got like different browsers open with financial news and stuff like that. So this just helps me have everything in one app. I don't have to leave it. I can see what's going on and then make my decisions on my buying and selling. They are FCA regulated and covered by SIPC, which means that your money is covered up to 500,000 US dollars. Now here are a couple things which you might think of as cons, but I think it just depends on your view of what you are looking for in an investment app and stuff like that. So firstly, it is aimed slightly at people who invest more money and more sophisticated investors. So there is a higher entry fee in terms of you have to top up a minimum of 50 pounds. So if you are sort of a proper beginner and you don't really want to start investing loads, then you might be better starting off with one of the platforms like Free Trade or Trading 212, where you can top up as little as one pounds and get to grips with investing and the psychology of investing and everything like that. However, if you are a more sort of advanced investor who's comfortable investing their money, then it really shouldn't be a barrier because I'll usually top up about hundred pounds each time that I top up my investments. So to me, that's not really a barrier. The other thing worth noting is that you do have to have a minimum of $30,000 invested in order to buy the US ETFs. Now I was initially really surprised by that and a bit put off because I was like, but I've got US ETFs in my other platforms. So I did go back to check and it does turn out that my US market ETFs are actually listed on the London Stock Exchange, whereas the ones that you would get on the Stake Hub 
are listed on the US Stock Exchange. The reason behind this is some EU and UK regulations that we won't get into because it's really boring and I don't wanna bore you. So a lot of people always ask me how these platforms make money. So let's get that out of the way. The way that Stake make their money is through the previously mentioned 0.5% FX fee on topping up and withdrawing from your account. Similar to the other apps, they also make money on the interest on the cash that just sits within customers' accounts. And finally, they also make money on charging an express funding fee, which basically just means you will get your money in your account a lot faster, or you can not pay a fee and wait for the money to transfer from your bank account. So now I'll show you what the app looks like, have a little bit of a walkthrough of the app. Now, if you do watch this video and you're interested in signing up, I will have the referral link down below. If you click it and fund your accounts within the first 24 hours, and that's really important, we will both get a free share of either Nike, GoPro or Dropbox. You first go into the app, you see the dashboard. It's very clean. There's not like loads of stuff going on, which I really like. You've just got your equities, which tells you your total amount of money in equities, which you can see for me is $95. And just underneath it, you will see the percentage change in terms of the day and the total. So today I went up by 40, I was about to say P, 40 cents. And then overall, my portfolio has gone down by 382. Now, just underneath that, you've got your buying power and your settled funds, which just essentially means how much money I have left to spend. And then at the bottom here, you've just got your holding. So you can see I've got Apple and Coke. Now, the one thing that I really do like here is when you click on this total P&L, you can choose whether you want your overall profit or loss or the daily profit and loss. So how has the price moved on these today for my position or the price? So if I click price, you can see that Apple costs $112 a share at the moment and Coke is 51. Or if I go on the daily, it shows you the, the change and stuff like that. So that is a really cool feature that I really like. Now, when you click on this eye, you've got your watch list. So when you find a stock that you like and you're interested in, you can add it to the watch list. At the moment, I don't have anything in my watch list, but let's have a look. If I go on the search button, which self-explanatory, I really don't need to explain that. But let's say I wanted to add Johnson & Johnson to my watch list. I just click here and then I click on this little eye at the top and it's added it to my watch list. So if I go back now, you can see here, watch list, Johnson & Johnson. Now, if we go back into here, I can show you what I was talking about in terms of the analytics. So here you've got the charts, just like the other platforms, nothing new, but you go down here and you've got the number of views, trades, and people watching this stock. So that is super cool in my opinion, because it gives you a view of what other people are doing. So when you scroll down, it shows you all the news about Johnson & Johnson, again, really cool. And then at the bottom here, you've got those analyst ratings that I mentioned. So you've got here, 100% of the analysts have said that this is a buy stock. And when you click here to see price targets and ratings, it just gives you a little bit more detail about those analyst ratings. Further down, you've got the financials. This is similar to the Trading212 financials that you've got on that platform. So if you do use that platform, you'll be familiar with this. But the one thing that I think is really cool here is that this is expressed more in the graphs. So for example, here you've got the EPS graph, which is really, really cool. Whereas on the other platforms, you've got basically just a list of data, which to some people might not be as easy to digest. So on the little person, you've just got your accounts, things like topping up and your activity reports, things like that. Nothing riveting, just the bog standard, sort of like what has happened in my account, what have I purchased, what have I sold, stuff like that. And finally, you've got this Wall Street tab, which basically just gives you a lot of Wall Street data. Again, really cool because it gives you an overview of the stock market without having to leave the app. So you've got the big indices here, like S&P 500, you can click on that. So you can click through them, see what's happening. So over here, you've got the market movers, which essentially is the stocks that have had the biggest gains and biggest drops. And down here, you've got the popular searches. And again, just a list of the most up and most down stocks. And you can choose whether you're interested in stocks, ETFs, tech, financials. So I could say in tech, who's been the most up? And there you go, you get a list. So really cool feature. And then just the generic news for everything over here. 
So signing up to the app was really easy. I had absolutely no problems with it. I'll just insert a little video here of the sign up process. Obviously I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff, but it's it took me like five minutes. I was really pleased with it. I didn't come across any issues whatsoever. That's it guys, let me know what you think of the app and let me know whether you're gonna be trying it out. Of course, if you are gonna try it out, make sure you do use that link down below so that we both get one of those free shares. Let's hope it's Nike. And yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.